That wasn't funny. Uh, you're so easy. I hate Halloween. So in Morbid, there are four monsters in each dream sequence, and the first of which is the Scarecrow. That's not true. There's one monster in each dream sequence. There's four dream sequences. You're right. All right. Wait, what did I say? You said there's four monsters in each dream sequence. That's, yes. That's like 16 walls. That's the only reason I'm here, just these little <laughs> things. When you first brought up this character, I'm like, you know, like, don't describe it. How, how are you gonna, and, and how, and, and da da da, and how are we gonna be able to maintain burlap? Because you said you wanted to use burlap. I'm like, how's that not gonna change from shot to shot to shot? Yeah, and, and I knew from, from seeing other people make these really amazing sort of burlap scarecrow masks that they would create a form underneath and use Mod Podge, which is just sort of almost like school glue to create sort of the, the shell and retain its shape in, in the front of the mask. And so I knew that that was a way that people have done it. And so I really wanted to, to try that. What did you use under this? And under it, we, we for, for the actual form, we sort of just used like a Halloween mask. It wasn't, it wasn't quite a Michael Myers mask, but it was one that sort of had um, like a skull-like features under it. And I knew that that would sort of give it a really creepy sort of almost like there's bone underneath the burlap kind of look. And, and the paint along with it sort of really helps sell that this is, this is a monster. It's not necessarily a person. After the Mod Podge was solidified and we had the shape, then I went to go weather, because all sort of burlap sacks are, you know, they're dirty, they're filthy. <sighs> Burn. We sort of used um, weathering to sort of accent um, the, the features of, of the underlying skull or, or whatever else is, is beneath the, the mask and, um, and really gave it a, a really menacing, eerie look. And then came time for the stitching and, and, and this, we, we had stitching sort of going along the mouth line and that was just a complete pain in the butt. <laughs> I but, mean, but it really, makes the character. I yeah. mean, it is, it is, it is really, it is scary. Yeah, he has this real sort of menacing smile. Almost gives you the feeling that if, if those stitches weren't there, that he could literally take a bite out of you. In the tests, um, we had the actor John wore a, a black, um, what do you call it? Just like a black netting over his face. Yeah. Worked great when there's light out, but as soon as we go to film lighting and it's dark, created a whole nother set of issues. Yeah, and so when, when we were actually filming, we had to take off sort of this balaclava that he was wearing to keep the eyes really nice and dark. What's and it called? A balaclava, I think. All right. And even still had to be led around though, because uh, it, it was it was uh, hard to see. We also had to, to work with John on sort of how the scarecrow moved and everything because he would be walking around and only sort of seeing like pinhole vision of, of, of where he was actually able to move. And so we really had to work on sort of the muscle memory of how the scarecrow moved, how he moved when he was sort of creeping around, how he moved when he was chasing after someone. On, on set, we were working on sort of how the scarecrow would move his ax. It was interesting though, in person, kids loved him. Oh. Because John's such a nice guy, it was, people were not intimidated at all of him in person in the suit. I mean, we had, everyone wanted to take pictures with him. I mean, there, there was photo sessions going on with, with John in the suit. We're tall and John's like this tall. Like, so John's, John's a big guy. Yeah, he, he's a big guy, but, but basically he, he somehow managed on set in person to turn this horribly scary serial killer into a teddy bear. Of the four villains, John played three of the four. I bet that's another video. Yep. What, what's coming up in the next video? In the next one, we're gonna be talking about the clown. People hate clowns. People hate clowns. There's certain people that hate clowns. Like, like hate them. I, I'm one of those people. I'm not only clowns themselves, but people who wanna be clowns, I just don't get it. <laughs> that and people breaking into song in front of you. Yeah, flash mobs, not. It's the, the theatrical performance of clowning. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha